Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the Sellersville Theater, the beautiful and the empty Sellersville Theater. My name is Daniel Faga, and you're watching Sound Booth Sessions, a brand new live streaming show where we feature a conversation and a concert with one of our favorite artists. Uh, and now I'm very excited to welcome for our first artist on Sound Booth Sessions. Uh, you've seen him right there on our stage with the likes of Roseanne Cash, Leanne Womack, Joan Osborne, and many others. His brand new album, Selling Things, was, was released one week ago today, received rave reviews in Rolling Stone magazine, and has been on constant rotation in at least one household. Ladies and gentlemen, live from his living room in Brooklyn, New York, please give a warm welcome to Brian Dunn. Hey, hey. How you guys doing out there? Lately you've been selling things Jackets that don't fit Guitars with old strings That just sat on a wall Waiting on a friend Ah, oh, and truly you tried But you couldn't make time For all of them Staying home, waiting out the weather And dreaming alone, it's just a phase you say Watching the days on end Ah, oh, and truly you tried But you couldn't make time for all of them You're feeling strange, but you don't know why Disappointed in the meaning of life We'll just stay inside much to serve on So lately you've been selling things Records you bought that you thought you'd listen to at some point soon You say I guess it got away from me Oh and truly you tried But you could not make time for all of these that you never used when you were seven years younger and you thought you'd do something somewhere else mm, and then it just kind of sat on the shelf and here's some art that you thought was good but it didn't make you happy like you thought it would and it cost a lot oh but you thought it was worth a shot Selling things, jackets that don't fit, guitars with old strings that just sat on a wall. Waiting on a friend, oh, and truly you tried, but you couldn't make time for all of them. Oh, honey, truly you tried, but you couldn't make time for all of them. Yes. Hey, hey. And I'm going to be the sound of a thousand hands clapping. Yeah, I'll clap too. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The two of us together will make a crowd. Yeah. I'm sure I'm seeing a sea of likes and thumbs up coming up from Facebook. Hello, Brian. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Yes. Thank you for having me. This is uh, this is very cool. I've, I've never uh, considered... I, that I could play the Sellersville Theater by not leaving my house at all. I'll tell you what, I, I never thought of it either until just a couple <laughs> weeks ago. Uh, so this is great. Hey, congratulations on the new record. How does oh, it, thank you. How does it feel to have a new, brought a new baby into the world? Oh, that's good. I feel like 180 grams lighter, you know. Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> how, how long have you been working on this particular uh, record? Um, so the, the songwriting 
process was about two years. I, t I took about two years to write the record, and then we recorded it last February uh, in LA over the course of two weeks. Um, and then the rest has been post-production, so mixing, mastering, mm -hmm. and setting up a release strategy, which was uh, briefly interrupted by a worldwide pandemic, but we're working through it. <laughs> Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, here, I have, a, I have a, a visual on the album that I can put up here for everybody looking at home. Uh, oh, this very album, cool. yeah, I know. Oh man, we're very high tech over here right now. Uh, so this album, Selling Things, is available, of course, anywhere you buy music. And uh, and if people want a vinyl copy, Brian, oh, where could they get one? Yeah, we got we got vinyl over on my website, BrianDunnMusic.net. Um, here, wait, I got one right here. Look at that. I'll package it up for you. I'll sterilize it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to have your record on vinyl. It's also the boxes are taking up my entire kitchen. This particular one, I believe, is green. This is an exclusive for the Magnolia Record Club. But uh, we got black ones in the in the dining room ready to be in your house and not in mine. Brian, how can how can we ensure the uh, sterility of, of those uh, those vinyl copies? I uh, promise. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, Brian, so you're going to be playing uh, a, a number of songs f for us this evening uh, from this album and others, is that correct? Yeah, so the, um, yeah, I think the next song I'm going to play is a single off the record, and it's a song about the end of the world. There's sort of a through line of apocalypse uh, uh, type things happening <laughs> Appropriate. on the whole record, so it's, it might be coming out at the perfect time. So um, this song is called Walk Me Home. next perhaps I'm stupid but I thought more or less there'd be a lesson here for me to discern maybe I missed it or there's nothing here to learn but if you walk me home and let me ramble on you might find a little comfort in the world I roam I want to be your friend don't let me end this night alone there's not a light in the sky you can almost feel the anger in the motherless night As the gunshots in the projects accrue But I won't hesitate to take a bullet for you And if you walk me home and let me ramble on You might find a little comfort in the world I roam I want to be your friend Don't let me end this night alone tables and they want us to leave we could call a couple cars and be gone we can be strangers if 
if that's what you want or you can walk me home and let me ramble on you might find a little comfort in the world i roam i want to be your friend don't let me end this night alone It's a, that's a song about the end of the world. This is a song about the end of the world. They're back to back on the album. I, I did that intentionally. I'm going to play them back to back tonight. Um, it's called Nothing Matters Anymore. Here we are at the brink of who knows. You got a good idea, Romeo. I lost faith in luck long ago I guess I just switched teams My aunt Alice used to work for the Stones Now she sits around the house alone Playing Scrabble on her telephone I don't know what that means Out in front of the drugstore lines We're getting drunk on a Tuesday night you do whatever you want with your life I'll do whatever with mine It just works like that You learn to live or it breaks your back I believe Mark Twain said that Is that right? Oh yes, I'm sure I used to worry about the way I talk I used to think about the way I thought I used to talk about myself a lot, but nothing matters anymore. Nothing matters anymore, she said. All the truth is irrelevant. Just look at the president. Can you believe this shit? And all the while I was thinking about this girl I met outside a bar downtown. She been giving me the run around. I was waiting for the hint. She said she lived in LA, but now that all of her debts were paid, she'd probably move to New York someday. If she could only swing the rent It just works like that You learn to live or it breaks your back I believe Rick James said that Is that right? Oh yes, I'm sure I used to worry about the way I talk I used to think about the way I thought I used to talk about myself a lot But nothing matters anymore soda with your big kid lunch you ought to supersize that oh you've been gunning for the prize and i know it's hard you've got a cynical mind and a big bad heart it's true Ooh, that's what i love about you because i used to think about the way i thought my god i was a goddamn boy i used to think that i could steer the plot but nothing matters anymore I used to worry about the way I talk I used to think about the way I thought I used to talk about myself a lot But nothing matters anymore
<laughs> Thank you. Lots of clap emojis have emerged in the in the chat uh, on Facebook. What more could a guy ask for? Brian, thank you so much. Excellent <laughs> tunes. Let me share some of the comments with you that are scrolling in here. Uh, from Bethany Cockrum, I've barely stopped listening to Selling Things since it came out. It's comforting and nostalgic and helping me through life right now. Thank you, Brian. Oh, wow. That's very sweet. That I, that's what I comment. hope for. <laughs> here, from Corey Wall, every track on the album is amazing. Been on repeat for a week now. <laughs> me too, Corey, in my house as well. So hey, Brian, Corey. Brian, after 10 years of songwriting, give or take, and what is it now, three full-length albums and uh, a number of EPs and sing singles and what have you, um, uh -huh. how has your songwriting process uh, matured or changed or, or stayed the same, if that's the case? No, that's a good question. I mean, the process is pretty much the same as I've always used, which is I try to write in a lot of songs. I try to write in bulk. Um, okay. I think it just in, it takes the pressure off the inherent mediocrity of any songwriter is to mm -hmm. know that most of the times you're going to sit down and write a song, it's not a good one, but that's mm -hmm. not a big deal. Uh, and the more you more of those you write, the more you get used to it, and it doesn't freak you out. But um, in terms of the the stylistically how it's matured, I think that when I started writing songs, I thought that I should write something f for everyone. I, th I thought I should write a song that everyone could enjoy, and now I kind of just want to write songs that. Uh, that like my uh, cult of people would enjoy. I just feel like, I don't know, I think the only thing you can bring to your work is yourself, your own sense of humor and your own uh, outlook on the world. So I'm done trying to write like Amazing Grace. I think I'm gonna just write Nothing Matters Anymore. <laughs> Seems like a good strategy. Seems yeah, it might be a you. niche audience, but you know, whatever. That's right. <laughs> so as you were approaching the songs for this particular record, did you have a particular goal in mind? Were you trying to achieve something specific? Uh, yeah, there was actually, initially, it was going to be a concept record about each year of my 20s, and then that kind of fell away uh, when I wrote some stuff. Well, some stuff started happening around us, and I thought there were more important things to write about than, my, than year 27. But... Um, yeah, I definitely wanted it to be an album that was set in New York. I wanted it to be an album that um, if you sat down with it for for uh, 40 minutes or whatever, you'd really know me by the end of it and maybe know yourself a little bit better. That was sort of the goal. I see. So so you're writing... So the person in the songs is, in fact, you, Brian Dunn. It's not a character or a... You're, you're writing the truth, essentially, your, your truth. Yeah, I switch in between, but I don't want to tell you which parts are true and which parts are not. Gotcha. That would ruin it. <laughs> and Brian, what about those times when uh, you sit down to write and you just don't have anything? Is it? Do you have a, a secret for sort of manufacturing uh, inspiration, or how do you find inspiration when you're feeling dry? I think that I always, I'm always an interested music listener, so I'm always trying to write the song that I would want to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's usually just a matter of whether or not there are times where you sit down and you really are tired of the sound of your own voice and you're like you know what honestly if I was picking through my records today I wouldn't pick me you know mm -hmm. but for the most part I'm just trying to write something that I would like so that's sort of where I draw inspiration from mainly from being a music listener and being a fan you Excellent. know if I'm sick of myself I just think of an artist that I like and think about what I would want their next single to be <laughs> Brian, I got to ask you about one particular song on the record really stands out to me and that's getting wrecked on election day. What ha, how where did that song come from? What Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's um is it that's that's this song That's the uh, closer. That song's very autobiographical. I'll play that next. Um the uh it's that this song is about me. <laughs> it's actually the the etymology of it is the uh a friend of a friend was in this cover band and they were really really awful and I used to have to go see them all the time and then um it was it was it was her boyfriend who was in this band and uh, and I and I I was uh, by uh, by osmosis had to go see the band all the time they were awful and so when they broke up not the band the band unfortunately is still together but the uh, when the couple broke up I wrote this song in exalted joy about that that band sitting on the roof of your old place. That's how I remember these days with a 12 pack of bad beer and living on chips. That's how I remember this. Your friend's boyfriend's cover band. 
Thought they were something, well they were something, man. My ears will still be bleeding four years from now, but we had a good laugh anyhow. So take a look at the mess we made, getting wrecked on election day. Maybe we went a little over the line, but at least we had a pretty good time. Well, your ex was a real big pain Stand around at the bar and complain About the music and the lights as the nights wore on And I can say that I'm glad that he's gone And all the places we always go Familiar faces we all seem to know Like a freeze frame from a famous scene On your favorite TV show So take a look at the mess we made Getting wrecked on election day Maybe it went a little over the line But at least we had a pretty good time is fleeting, life is insane One day you're young and the next you ain't If nothing matters in the greater design Well, at least we had a pretty good time Sitting on the roof of your old place Cigarette and the sun on your face Red t-shirt and dirt on your shoes Well, that's how I'll remember you So take a look at the mess we made Getting wrecked on election day Maybe it went a little over the line But at least we had a pretty good Time is fleeting, life is insane one day you're young and the next you ain't If nothing matters in the greater design Well, at least we had a pretty good time Well, at least we had a pretty good time <laughs> Very nice. Thanks, sir. Folks listening at home, uh, I think we had a little dropout during that song. I apologize for that. Um, it did come back. Everything is fine. The stream is up and running. Um, I do want to remind you folks, uh, if you call your attention to the bottom of the screen, uh, Brian does have a Venmo. So uh, please, if you appreciate his music, please make a donation and help keep the music and this particular musician alive uh, through your donations. I I appreciate it, and I'm sure so to see. Yes. If you hate the show, you can request money from me, too. That's right. Speaking of requests, uh, if anybody does have a request for Brian, uh, he has agreed to play uh, whatever it is you, you... I assume he'll play Brian Dunn songs um, and maybe assorted other covers. Uh, Brian, do you, are there any covers that you that you like to do? Speaking any covers of cover that bands? I like to do. Um... Mm. To, uh, you know, not really, because uh, I spent the first couple of years a after uh, after school in a cover band myself, and uh, I have post traumatic stress disorder <laughs> from that particular time in my life. So no, I generally speaking, even if it's a band that I love, I'm 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 always happier when I'm playing my own songs. But you know, I've I've you know been held at gunpoint before and done them. You know what? I should have clarified. I wasn't asking you to play a cover. I was just it was just conversation. <laughs> it was just conversation. It's uh, okay. It's okay. I just, a, you can tell I've been traumatized. <laughs> you know. I think we've all played in a cover band or two. So there is uh, some requests here. We've got Nighthawk, Thunder Road. Oh, there's a cover. Um, uh, so if, if any of those uh, strike, tickle your fancy. Um, we'll get back to the songs in a second. Brian, I want to get to know you a little bit more. Uh, I've sure. only gotten to work with you here at the Sellersville Theater a half dozen times or so. Enjoyed all of them. We have we've had little chats. Um, uh, so y you grew up in a town called Monroe, New York. Monroe, New York. Yeah, that's where I'm from. And a Google search has informed me that that's where Velveeta cheese is from. Uh, yes, it's me and Velveeta cheese. Those you are the claims to fame. Two very smooth, <laughs> uh, smooth things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, any funny Velveeta stories from growing up in the town where Velveeta cheese is from? 
The town of Velveeta. You know what? I remember once that Stephen Colbert mentioned it on when he was on the Colbert Report. I remember that being a really big idea. But um, no, I don't. They didn't have the cheese factory there when we, when I was growing up. But they would have a cheese festival every year, which was neither here nor there. Also, there, Velveeta is arguably not cheese. So a cheese-like product. It's a it's a, a cheese product. A cheesy yes. spr- a cheese flavored <laughs> spread. Um, okay, let's move on to college. Uh, I do believe you graduated from Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. Yes, I did. A legendary school uh, that has many uh, glorious alumnus. Yeah. Uh, right? We're not supposed to talk about it because we're supposed to have fallen off the back of a hay truck as singer-songwriters, but we'll get into it. It's fine. I understand. It, well, They can't c- stop me now. Can you talk <laughs> about your experiences at Berkeley? I'm, I'm just a little curious what what it's like being in that kind of an environment with with so much talent like is it a very competitive vibe uh what were your experiences at berkeley it is competitive but in a really healthy way i think um it's really it's a really great place to hone your craft uh i think because uh you're surrounded by all different uh types of musicians all 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 different people from different parts of the country and different parts of the world. And I feel like getting that exposure to those ideas really early uh, can really enrich your experience. And I met a lot of the people I'm still close with and some of the people that worked on this record I went to school with. So, you know, it was a really invaluable experience. That's fantastic. Were you were you were classmates with um, Liz Longley, is that right? Yeah, Liz is one of my best friends. Oh, she's yep. unbelievable. And um, Alex Wright? So I'm just throwing Alex Wright, out. Alex name, Wright name actually... Dropping. Alex Wright actually designed the album cover. Is that he right? He actually designed that. Yes. Yes. I, 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 over many caffeinated phone calls, right. I told him what I wanted. Shout He's a brilliant out. man. Shout out to Liz. <laughs> shout out to Alex. Yeah. Uh, who else? Who, uh, is, is Ken Yates a Berkeley guy? Yeah, Ken's Berkeley guy. I'm repping Ken tonight. I got my Quiet Talkers shirt on. Quiet Talkers, 522. That's that was, his album. That comes that out. Inspired by your shirt, that was actually the pre-show music that was playing oh, as cool. people were sitting on the landing page. <laughs> so, uh Great, a lot of love for for Berkeley, and and actually uh, Livingston Taylor will be playing at the Sellersville Theater at some point in the future when we <laughs> reopen. Oh, Livingston Taylor. <laughs> All right, so so we do have a, f- a few more requests here. I I, I don't know if you want to take one or, or two. I'll, yeah. I'll read off the list. We had uh, Nighthawk. Hit me with that list. We'll see what happens. All right, Night Nighthawk, Thunder Road, Taxi, New Tattoo. Oh, somebody said Velveeta. I thought that was a song name. It's mm. not. Could uh, be. Better Late. Better Late. Oh, I haven't played that in a long time. Uh, that looks like the list for the moment. Um, okay. I believe yeah, the I'll do, uh, request portion of the evening is now closed. Thank you for your submissions. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, let's play. Uh, uh, I'll play Nighthawk. Here we go. Here it goes. For a true friend, you always knew when the work was late, when the bill was paid. I rode the night bus, I swore that I was not to try and stay, but all my heart gets lonely when no one seems to care, and I can't put that on you only. No, that would not be fair, but still I find I'm saying, Oh, my Amy, could you blame me? There's so much I want to say, but words just lead me far astray. I don't know why, I fear I might die every time you walk away. I sure haven't grown into how I feel Scared hands on the steering wheel And outside the night hawk I told you my love for you was real I said, oh, my heart gets lonely And I know yours does too Don't you want to get to know me The way that I know you just gotta understand me now oh my amy 
Could you blame me? There's still so much I want to say But words just lead me far astray I don't know why I fear I might die Every time you walk away Oh my darling I feel it starting Oh that fragile tender ache Every time the fever breaks And I don't know why I check the night sky Just to make sure that I'm alive So I can see you one more time feel the same old pain every time you walk away Thank you, Brian. A lot of love for Nighthawk. Right. The message right. board is blowing up. That's I'll good. share this from Chuck Moody. He says, this is a song John Prine would have loved. Oh, Ooh. that's very sweet. That's very sweet. That, that is means some a lot good feedback. Uh, there's been a, 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 a flurry of activity requesting don't give up on me. Is there time for one more request? Oh, there's plenty of time. I got, I was, I got, I was, I was telling you today, I got nothing else to do, man. I could, I got literally, this is the only thing I've put pants on for today, so. Well, we're going to run out of haze fluid at some point here for the lights, so we're going to, we can't be here all night, but. Uh, <laughs> I do appreciate you turning the lights on. It does make me feel special. Oh, man. It's the mood lighting. It's the mood lighting. <laughs> All right, by request, here we go. Mountains crumble, then they fall. And trees tumble no matter how tall. From East Los Angeles to the Garden State Parkway. Well, I'm getting dressed in the moonlight now. Got my jacket on and I'm heading out. If I'm gonna lose you, I'm gonna lose you the hard way. If I'm gonna lose you, I'm gonna lose you the hard way. But if my words get fumbled, well then this is what I'm meant to say. You can make a good case out of my mistakes. You'd be right to write me out. But don't give up, don't give up on me now If you need to throw a stone, you can throw a stone If you want to call me names, make yourself at home Don't give up, don't give up on me now And you can kiss me once and I'll be satisfied Kiss me once Baby, kiss me twice Might as well take you for all I can take you for Make me a movie, make it a cliche Some things are supposed to be that way I wanna shake and rattle you right down to your core I wanna burn through the streets right up to your front door you can make a good case out of my mistakes You'd be right to write me out But don't give up, don't give up on me now If you need to throw a stone, you can throw a stone If you want to call me names, make yourself at home Don't give up, you can't give up on me now
mountains crumble, then they fall. And trees tumble no matter how tall. Anything real can sometimes hit the ground. So there's no way your walls can keep from coming down. And you can make a good case out of my mistakes. You'd be right to write me out. But don't give up, don't give up on me now. If you need to throw a stone, you can throw a stone. If you want to call me names, make yourself at home. Don't give up, you can't give up on me now. So don't give up, don't give up on me now. All right. Boy, I like that song. Oh, yeah. Very much. Thank you. Folks, if you're just tuning in, we're here live with Brian Dunn in the empty Sellersville Theater. He's on his couch. There was a cat a minute ago. Oh, my cat? Yeah, I saw a cat. Oh, did it come by? <laughs> oh, I was locked in it. Well, what, here, this what? is actually a picture of my, this is a blanket made of my cat. Oh. Uh? A and blanket <laughs> made of your cat. That doesn't sound well, not right. Of, of him, but a picture of him. A blanket That's, made of a picture of that him. That was careless he, phrasing. I'm sorry. He's right over here. I could probably... Here, you know what? I know how to get him over here. This is his Give the thing. people what they want, Brian. Give us your cat. Yeah. What's your cat's name? Here, you want to see my cat? My cat's name is Sid Vicious, and he's the greatest cat in the world. Sid, come here. Sid Vicious. Come on now. Come here. What a great name. Here, here he comes. This is his favorite thing Donations are going to go through the roof because of this Sid Vicious. this glove so I could pet him <laughs> to his liking, and he's in love with it. There he is. You see him? Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, this is this is going south. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I don't know. I don't we know. Did have a, we did have a request for some uh, ASMR of uh, petting a cat. Uh, get real close to the microphone there. Let's get there some purring Let's noise. Let's see if we can get him Everybody purring. put your headphones on now. For some <laughs> oh, boy. Hello, said. Nice to meet you. Wonderful. Yes. So, <laughs> Brian, uh, <laughs> when when you're not at home with your cat, and before uh, before the quarantine, I believe uh -huh. you were something of a road dog. Yes, uh, some might say that. You, uh, I, I I believe you're doing about 150 dates a year. Is that an accurate number? Oh my goodness. Something like that. Yeah, 125, 150, something like that. Uh, so, so what is uh what's going to be the status of the music business? What is the state of the music business uh, after this uh, uh. quarantine? After you know, when are we going to get back to uh, you driving around the country playing gigs for people? Well, I'll tell you what, the first day they let us, I'll be there, you know, but yeah. um, I don't know. I think it's going to take a little bit of time for people to feel comfortable. Yeah. Um, so I guess we're, we're feeling it out. I'm, I'm ready. You know, I'm chomping at the bit. Uh, I've got a thousand records sitting in my dining room that are <laughs> looking to be looking to find homes. Right. And, um, you know, I love playing shows and it's, it's actually, it's been a nice little break because I've I've not taken any time off the road in the last seven years or so. Uh -huh. uh, so it's been a nice little reprieve, unfortunately, under terrible circumstances. But um, but I'm already very very eager to return to the road and start playing in, you know, the weirdest places on earth. I'm you sure know, it's my favorite thing to do. Am I you? And you are a newlywed, so this is a nice bit of time I am. that. Uh, oh, that's a, this is my ring finger. <laughs> Very nice. So, uh, so after spending so much time on the road, um, is there any? Uh, wh what do you like to listen to on your drives? Uh, from <laughs> <laughs> Hang on one sec. Let me get him out of here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Folks, do not adjust your television sets. That is. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's good, clean fun. Um, what were you saying? Sorry. Uh, no, just uh, <laughs> looking for some uh, some media recommendations from you for long car rides. Uh, are you a pod oh. are you a podcast listener? Books on tape? What do you got? I would say I'm an avid pod. I'm not really a fan of the books on tape. I tried the. I got a, an account for a little while, and it just was like putting me to sleep. Uh -huh. You know. Um, 
but I uh, I do the podcasts pretty heavily. I'm really into the true crime stuff. Okay. Uh, there's one called Crime Junkie that is that's uh, riveting. I belong to their Patreon. That's how much I like it. Oh my. Um, anything that's like a long form murder case, because when you're trying to stay awake on the road, especially when you're driving through like middle Ohio, and yeah. you know it's just like you got nothing for a long time. You gotta stay and most murders happen in seat. like Ohio. So edge of your seat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Really freak yourself out. Excellent. Okay, do uh, you have some uh, more more tunes to play? Yeah, I got more. Let's see. Uh, let's do. Um, let's do this one. You might say you're hooked on on podcasts. Like, I might say so. Like a, I don't know what we did before podcasts. You know, do we just drive in? Because uh, I love listening to music when I drive. But with twelve hours, you just like you know you listen to a Neil Young record, yeah. you put you in a trance. You know. That's right. What I did before podcasts was get more sleep. <laughs> And go yeah. go to bed a little earlier at night. Right. <laughs> um, so this is a song about um, planning to return to uh, performances sometime soon. <laughs> I guess takes on new meaning here.
<laughs> All right. Featured a Sid. strong appearance from my cat. You have to know that that's going to be people's favorite part of the show, Brian. That's good. I, I mean, that's what this is what live music looks like right you're now. You're working I, your I'm ass not off. Complaining. You're working your ass off out there, and Sid just <laughs> upstayed you. <laughs> Folks this at home, does. please make sure that Sid has cat food. Please donate to uh, Brian Dunn's Venmo. <laughs> uh, it's for Sid. It's it's for that poor cat. Okay, sorry to yes. interrupt, Brian. Back to the music. Back to the music. Okay, I think we got time for one or two more. Let's uh, let's do a. Do, do we? I'm sorry to. I'm sorry to interrupt again, Brian. No, uh, no. There have been a number of requests for Harlem River Drive at, ah. that, that I have to second. So I'm. I'm gonna. Okay. Uh, uh, that, lend my voice to that choir. Well, I do what the people say. So. I request, nay, demand that you play Harlem River Drive. That I can do. All right. This is uh, the first song on the new album, and uh, this is uh, for you. <laughs> Wait, hang on. It sounds better than that. One sec. This is the part of the show where you pull the lights down when we're actually on stage, but when I'm home, I have to just do it like this. Okay, here we go. State trooper shined a flashlight through a dark night on the Palisades Said I was flying I did not notice Was just trying to focus on the time I made In life and sacrifice Sure, just a short ride from paradise And just a slip from your hardest days I'll never know, babe, which way to go, babe I'm just trying to hold on along the way You were born in mid-November The trees were amber was crisp but darkness fell on your wishing well where you kept your harmlessness in life and sacrifice your just a short ride from paradise and just a slip from your hardest days I'll never know which way to go, babe? I'm just trying to hold on along the way. And listen to the water running by Flash my headlights Across the state line Coming over the Harlem River Drive In life and sacrifice Sure, just a short ride from Which way to go, babe? I'm 
just trying to hold on along the way. Yeah, thank you. Clapping. Clapping. That's what we cheering. want. Cheering. The internet has ch is cheering. Lots of great comments, Brian. Let me let me read you a couple before you move on to your next song. Uh, we have, oh boy, Sid is stealing the show. The cat takes over the show. Loving Sid. We know who the real star is. <laughs> uh, this is the content we all need. Agreed. Oh, that's Corey. good. Thank you very much. <laughs> A lot of love for Holland River Drive, one of my favorites on the album. Thank you, Corey. A lot of comments from Corey. Appreciate it. And yes, a lot of positivity, lots of clapping. That's good. Um, all right, I think we got time for one more song. So uh, I'll send you out with um, something positive. Although I got to tell you guys, you can't see, but Sid is now staring at me through the door with a murderous look on his face. He's gotten a taste of the stardust, and he can't, he can't go back. <laughs> All right. We're going to leave you uh, with, a hope, uh, with a hopeful song, um, sort of a, a prayer for better days. So here we go. Wait, that's the wrong one. That's, 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 that's not what we want to do. We want to do. See, I have two, because that's how you know I'm Americana singer-songwriter. There we go. <laughs> If you gotta go, baby, then that's what will be. But I'll be right here when you come back home to me. And if you want to stay a while, I think I got what you need. And I'll lay my love before the heavens above in your company. I don't know why everything's always changing. I don't know why everything must end. But maybe, baby, if we try and just be patient, or maybe everything is meant to begin again. So if you say that when something goes, that it's gone. Who's to say for sure if you're right or you're wrong? So if you gotta go. Cost yourself a world of trouble And when your God doesn't fix anything for you now and when the fresh cup of coffee that you set at the table It doesn't give you more answers than it gives you doubts Frankie, I don't know what the future holds now, but only you can decide if you go it alone. Only you know. So if you gotta go, baby, then that's what will be. But I.
So when you ask if there's a reason you should keep on running I don't know yet, no, but I believe Oh, so if you gotta go, baby Then that's what will be But I'll be right here when you come back home To come back home to me If you wanna stay That's our show, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you to Brian Dunn. Visit him online, briandunnmusic.net. The new album is called Selling Things, available at all of the music distributors, uh, all of the digital music distributors. You can get it from Brian directly. He'll mail you a vinyl. Might even sign it for you. Uh, folks, please make sure to visit Brian online. Hit up his socials at Brian Dunn Music and uh, contribute to his Venmo so Sid, that poor cat, can, can, uh, can have all the food that he can eat. Uh, that's, uh, can we get one more Sid sighting? Uh, that's at uh, Brian Dunn, Venmo Brian Dash Dunn. And uh, folks, thank you for joining us. If you would like to support the Sellersville Theater, this beautiful theater behind me, uh, please keep watching our Facebook page. We will do more of these coming up in the future. We would love to have you there. Like, comment, do all the wonderful interactions online. That means a lot to us. Uh, if you go to our website, st94.com, uh, you can order. The Washington House Restaurant is doing cuisine to go. That's right, you can get uh, the delicious Washington House meals del uh, at, at, for pickup uh, at the Washington House. You come by and pick it up. They've also started doing happy hours to go. I believe tonight was the very first one. And of course, please continue to, uh, to support the local musicians around you. Watch their live streams and make sure to donate. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been wonderful. Appreciate your support, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>